So we brought Mo in, and we said, Mo, you got to come up with a shotgun story like you used to. Mm-hmm. Carolina's got one, and Sean's got one, and I got one. So, yeah, Sean, take it away quickly. Oh, boy. All right. So, um, we got uh, what, four stories four. here? Four stories. Uh, so head on over to the Drain, uh, the Circle in the Drain Facebook group page. Uh, today, tomorrow, this entire week, following the show being over, drink. Drink. Um, <laughs> And uh, whenever you see all four, all four of these stories, uh, uh, vote for one. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what is wrong with you? It's been a long, long day. All right. So, um, yeah. God damn it. Is right, it because there's two second. women in one room with you? It's quite possible. All this estrogen is yeah. making, me, making me dodgy. You know, whatever. It's so, two um, pretty ladies. It's two and pretty you ladies. Can't, and, you know. Yeah. So, uh, let me just do the main spiel and uh, we'll get it out of the way. We as a group go around the world looking for the wildest, crazy stories we could possibly come up with. We read them off and you, the listener, get to get involved on the Drain the CTD Facebook group page. Hit that up and vote on whichever of the four stories that you like the best. Vote on whichever person you like the best. Close your eyes and just give us a vote. We need as many votes as we possibly can. And whoever has the most votes wins. Three wins in a row gets to punish the other two suckers. Turn it into a punishment. Uh, throw it up on the YouTube page. Drink again. Whatever. Shotgun stories. So, by the way, the drinking of this show is a very the nice. Drinking little, of this the show. drinking, drinking of this show. We have a little drinking game that goes on. The here. Circling the Drain podcast. Circling now available in 12 ounce, 8 ounce, and 6 ounce. <laughs> and leader form. The uh, Circling the Drink 8 ounce curls <laughs> only happens between the hours of 9 and 4. So, uh, so we just have a little cue for everybody drinking. For Carolina, it's when she curses, which is a lot. Yep. For Sean, it's when he flubs something, which, which can always, be a lot. Which is always. And Ira, it's when he does a depression or a accent, which could be a lot. Yes. So that is why we Lies! do this. <laughs> drink. We have to come up with something for Mo. We'll, we'll, don't worry, we'll come we'll up with something. We'll work on it. Yeah, Mo. we'll figure it out. Does Pickles have something? No. It's when I interrupt somebody, <laughs> but we, we it's, again, not important enough to really come up with anything else, Again, so. look at the chair he's in. He's in the unimportant chair. <laughs> he's this got a corner. He has more car than mine. seat over here. <laughs> that looks like an important chair. We should switch. I'm sure. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to have you. The royal throat needs yeah. to be moved over. Now, some wait, we had some breaking news last week. Now, Sean. Yes. <laughs> Sean, I don't know what happened. Sean, who who made the claim, he he wanted to lose every bout of shotgun stories yeah, this year. Just... So what did he do? He broke the record for winning five in a row. Exactly. Yes. Yes. He wanted to catch the zero. So Didn't now it, he already has one punishment. Oh, by the way, Mo, congratulations now. You are eligible to be punished. Yay! Hey. Hey. That's the one. I don't like that. I don't like that either. I don't like bear. Oh, like bear. bear. <laughs> because I feel it like... It could be a bear. I feel like it's not fair to her for her to be, you know, for my punishments to go to her. Oh, look. Now the two women are standing up for each other. Aww. It's because, you know, I like, to, I like you guys to inflict pain amongst yourselves. We yourself. know. Right. So I, I can't right. include Mo in that. Right. You can. <laughs> It's, it's a little mean. Listen, she's a big girl. She <laughs> can do what she wants. Let her speak for herself. Yeah, because, Mo, um, well, Sean and I like to find things that are fun. Caroline asked questions like, is this going to hurt them enough? Right. Mm. Is and this legal? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's legal. It's so, legal. Right, right. I've looked it up. <laughs> it so let's see if Sean can win another oh, punishment. Boy, do we really have to? Yeah, we should. We now, we last should. week, Carolina, you weren't here. Pickles had a story, and oh, why isn't it working? Uh, Pickles won for you. Yeah. Oh, congratulations! Okay, good. you broke good. Sean's okay. streak. I was wondering. Uh, I technically gave Sean his third win in a row, yeah. so it, I have to eventually be the one that breaks it. Well, up. yeah. I like it that Pickles actually wins for people, and he just gets punished. He has right. yeah. Really <laughs> punished anybody. There are four Poor people Pickles. reading stories this week, and none of them won last week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, Every group needs a gimp. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ooh, I need that drop. Wait a minute. <laughs> Circling the drain. Every group needs a gimp. Guess who? Okay. Uh, mm. So, uh, Pickles gave the win to Carolina. Player pass. Um, I'll go because uh, mine's very short. Let's go. Short story. So, I'm going to 
I'm gonna fuck some names up here. Drink. So, um, a Scottish woman. Drink. 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 Okay, a Scottish woman, Moira. Sure. Moira. Uh, Mo- Moira. Uh, Gallacher, uh, 72 years old, and her friend Charmaine Widowson were touring Romania in April, uh, enjoying a drive through Carp Carp some a some town shit mountain a town. Right, yeah. <laughs> drink through some mountains in Romania. Uh, when they happened upon two brown bears. Uh, they <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, we're laughing over something completely different. But go ahead. So, um, uh, they stopped to take a picture uh, of them. Um, that's when Widowson turned her car around uh, and pulled up to the bears for more pictures. Um, she lowered the window, and uh, she said she thought that the bears wanted to be friends. Right? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> That's when uh, one of the bears started to get in the car. And do duck face. Hey, over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what they wish. <laughs> um, and he actually ended up biting um, Gallacher. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, but Gallacher was wearing a thick jacket with two layers underneath. So even though the bear did uh, clamp down on her uh, on her hand with its jaws, she escaped with minor injuries. Just a Damn. boo-boo? Just a little boo-boo. Yeah. <laughs> hey, boo-boo! <laughs> yep, and she just said, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, very lucky. And, Man. and yep. very, very, very stupid. That. Yeah, that too. Have you been watching all the Disney movies your entire life just going, oh, come on, they dance they with dance you! With oh, it's on. just the bear oh. necessities. <laughs> Um, wait, which are bigger, black bears or brown bears? I don't know. They're both scary to me. Uh, yeah, polar bears. I know that they're the biggest. Polar bears okay. will F you yeah, up. Yeah. Yes. Black bears, okay. I think, are bigger. Okay. I think. All right. I learned sure. one suppo- you're, you're supposed to make yourself bigger, like that's going to help, and the other one you're supposed to play dead, but I'll screw them up. So. Right. Yeah, me right, too. Right. No. <laughs> okay. I'm going to so, get eaten either way. I will tell you that's a great commercial for like, hi. This is an L.L. Bean sweater. And if a bear bites you, <laughs> he's not even going to get through. That's how thick it is. Come on. Bear teeth do not penetrate this this fabric. Okay, Mo, why don't you go next? All righty. Shotgun story with Mo. Um, I understand that we're leaving Romania. So now I have a story from uh, one of the members of Parliament. Oh. Uh, Hungarian admits he was a Hungarian member of parliament admits he was at lockdown orgy. Mm. <laughs> okay. I didn't know they were on tour. Okay. <laughs> Yosef Shire says he was at a party broken up by police for breaking coronavirus rules. A senior member of the European parliament from Hungary's ruling uh, F- Fadas party admitted to Tuesday that he took part in a lockdown party described by a local media as an orgy that was broken up by Brussels police. Yosef Shire and said in the statement that he was present at the private party at which according to There were to a the, lot of privates, yeah. <laughs> according to the Belgian press, police found 25 naked men, including a member of parliament and a number of diplomats. And they took it in the fadas. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, couldn't wait on that one. <laughs> According to a press release from the public prosecutor's office, a passerby reported to the police that he had seen a man fleeing along the gutter and he was able to identify the man. The man's hands were bloody. It is possible that oh. he might have been injured while fleeing. Wow. Okay. Oh. oh, I thought it was bloody for another reason. It's that, me too. <laughs> Narcotics were found in his backpack. <coughs> oh, so he could be naked with a backpack. That's fine. You know, that the man works. was unable to produce any identifying documents. He was escorted to his place of residence where he identified himself as Joseph Shire by means of a diplomatic pars- passport. Oh, I thought he would go, this is my birthmark. Come on. That <laughs> identifies me. Come on. Uh, the Hungarian long-serving member of Prime Minister Viktor Orbán's party resigned as a uh, member of parliament on Sunday. He said in his statement Tuesday that his missteps were strictly personal and added, I ask everyone not to extend it to my homeland or my political community. <laughs> uh, we're going to just <laughs> skip right down to the end. Uh 
In a statement, the Fadiz delegation said to the European Parliament's uh, Shire had made the right decision when he resigned. He may he may only the right decision. We acknowledge his decision, just as we acknowledge that he apologized to his family, his politics community, and to the voters. And now we're going to put him in jail, which is just a smaller room with 25 naked guys. <laughs> and, uh, he'll be fine. Uh- Orbein called the deed unacceptable and indefensible. Suffice to say that Shire quit the party and his post at Brussels. A political comeback, we believe? Unlikely. Mm. Aww. There's definitely a comeback involved, just not (laughs) politicalized. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, there's no coming back from that. Ah, I don't call it a comeback. It's It's been here for years. years. Sean, can you beat that? Uh, Well, I can certainly try. Um, So, let's see. Um, Really? Yeah, <laughs> you want me to go? No, no, no. I got this. Um, so, uh, what the fuck? Oh, no. Damn it! No, don't drink. No, my, oh, my, my phone, my phone fucking popped up. Uh, I got to pop up on my phone. Shit. All right. Um, all right. So, a grumpy snake was rescued from rush hour traffic in West Virginia. That's correct. Uh, the West Virginia police, uh, a West Virginia police officer, pulled double duty today as a snake charmer when a grumpy serpent was spotted wandering onto uh, into the mid morning traffic. Well, that would make anybody grumpy. Yeah. The Charleston Police Department said on their Facebook profile page that one of the biggest animal lovers around rushed to the scene when the snake was found on the median. Uh, near the uh, near the stoplight in the fucking damn drink. it <laughs> drink uh, the drink. median in the stoplight in the fucking drink. damn it <laughs> style of the we'll does it say what type snake. of snake it was that would explain why he's grumpy a polar snake it does it's a actually. what a polar um, snake there we go <laughs> It was pretty yeah. intense, and I was pretty amped up. It was like, hey, I get to start looking at the nah just fuck it, yeah, it's. Guy rescued a snake. Guy We're being run over. <laughs> police officer rescued angry snake on on a median in a West Virginia town. Thanks. And later on, on another <laughs> one, they had a happy snake, a dopey snake, a dock snake, a dock snake, 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 sleepy snake, sleepy snake, sneezy snake. What are we missing? Right. The, Was it a sneezy grumpy? snake? No, no. I bashful think we got dog. them all. Bashful yeah, snake. Bashful. bashful snake, but he didn't come out. You know, was it the bashful, bashful snake of the last story? Right. Yeah, had? he was in the orgy. <laughs> and the bashful <laughs> snake. He came out like the Hungarian uh, member of the European Parliament. Yeah. So either which way, I'll have a better, maybe winning story next week. Who knows? But uh, yeah, Sean said, "Oh, there's an extra story, so there's no pressure on me." Mm. Okay, guys. Like I said, I have a dual state story for the first time. Right. Starting off in Wisconsin, where officials warned traffic delays this morning on Interstate 41 when an overturned truck spilled beer onto the roadway. Oh, no. Police shared photos of social media showing the semi truck on its side with lanes of Miller High Life beer just spilling out <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Two lanes of traffic were closed for cleanup and operation. Police warned drivers to go other ways and don't take the beer. Although right. it's the morning. Why not? I'm taking that shit. Mm-hmm. The case of the crash remains under investigation. Thank you. But police say they do not believe alcohol to have been a factor. Yep. Well, alcohol was a factor. <laughs> I know what I mean. It was yeah. 100% there a factor. Go. It was the inventory. That's a factor. <laughs> I, that's a fact, if you ask me. Now... Does anybody remember the Time Life book series that they used to show on TV? Yes, I yes. do. There's a woman who cut her hand, and her mother in California, 3,000 miles away, felt her hand get hot at the same moment. Right. Well, as this Wisconsin truck was being turned over, meanwhile, in California this morning, an overturned truck spills Coors beer onto the California highway. The roadway was closed while crews had to work to clear Coors cans from the road. Apparently, the mountains aren't turning blue, but the cans are, according to CHP on social media. Boy, those cops are funny. (laughs) Uh, The post-worn residents 
to try not to attempt their own amateur cleanup by taking the beers. Boy, these cops just don't want you to have a happy hour, do they? I mean, I guess, I guess it's, not. It's Coors Light, though. They I was going to say. I would encourage the people to take it, less for the state to have to take care of. So who got the better of it? Wisconsin or uh, California had Coors, Wisconsin had Miller? Oh, I'd say Wisconsin. Wisconsin. At least Absolutely. they brew it there. I yeah. was going to say, I, I, I would say, you know, you got the silver bullets versus the champagne of beers, you know, <laughs> either which way. I think Wisconsin gets the. Uh, the but win. don't you want to know when it's cold? <laughs> no, I, I guess. I mean, you know, it, it's Coors Light is just. It's water. Know. Yeah, it's, it, it, okay. it's alcoholic water essentially. It, it tastes yeah. like somebody drank it and then peed it out. Yeah. And just put it in your glass. Okay, Sean. Yes. Tell them how they can vote. All right. So head on over to Drain, the CTD Facebook group page. And uh, vote on whichever shotgun store you like. Vote for whichever person you like. Uh, the vote, will, the voting will be put up uh, tomorrow and throughout the course of the week. Whichever story you like best, vote for it. Shotgun stories, yes. <laughs> I don't know who to vote for this week. Too many options.